Get ready for a wild one between the Dodgers and Diamondbacks. Yaziel Puig coming to the plate to lead off the bottom of the second, facing Ian Kennedy as Puig grounds this one to the left side. D.D. Gregorius fires over to first. Puig is retired, but a bigger concern is Puig coming up lame right here. Check it out again. He appears to tweak something as he crosses the bag. Puig would make his way down into the tunnel. He'd get checked on, but he would come out to right field to begin the top of the third. Now with Zach Greinke dealing to Gregorius, and Gregorius lifts this one down the right field line. It's Puig in pursuit as he makes his way into foul territory, makes the catch, but again, a little discomfort here as he clearly grimaces after making this catch, but again, Puig would stay in the game. He's at the plate bottom four. The count on the screen reads one and two, but the umpires have it two and one because they called this pitch, which was clearly foul, a ball. Even after a convergence, it remains a two-one count. Miguel Montero can't believe it. So Kennedy's next pitch to Puig is a swing and a miss on what should have been strike three. Instead, it's just two and two. The next pitch, another swing and a miss, and Puig goes down on what was basically strike four. Now let's go top five. Our game is still scoreless. Jason Kubel tees off on Granke, the two-run shot, and it's 2-0 Arizona. Bottom six, it's Puig back at the plate as Kennedy comes high and tight on Puig in a very scary moment right here as Puig getting hit in the face. Mark McGuire looking on with obvious concern. Check it out again. Puig with virtually no time to get out of the way of this one. Now almost anybody else would have come out of the game, but Yaziel Puig is a special kind of cat. He remains in the game, takes his base down at first, and the Dodger crowd is eating this up. They can't get enough of Yaziel Puig. Next batter for LA is Andre Ethier. 2-2 two -two to Ethier. Fly ball to right field. It's way back. It's on its way. Ethier strikes back for the home run and ties the game at two. All things being equal in what has been a disappointing season so far for Andre Ethier, this may be his biggest blast yet. KLAC on the call. It's a 2-2 game, and that takes us to a very eventful seventh inning. Leading things off, Miguel Montero. He gets drilled in the back by the Granky pitch. Both teams are warned as the benches would clear. Even Mark McGuire making his way out to the field as cooler heads would prevail for now. Take another look. Granke with a purpose pitch seemingly in retaliation for what happened to Yaziel Puig. Granke though shrugs the whole thing off. He's at the plate bottom seven. You know what's coming next. Kennedy goes high and tight on Granke. He is immediately tossed and now things are gonna get really ugly really quick. As for the second time in just moments, the bench is clear yet again, and we've got a full-scale brawl. This thing makes its way over towards the Arizona dugout as tempers flare. Now watch the middle of your screen as in just moments, Arizona coach Turner Ward is almost going to get tossed over the railing. Miguel Montero comes to his aid as punches being thrown. Everybody getting into this one, including Don Mattingly and Matt Williams. And then it's Williams and Kirk Gibson and Mark McGuire all going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yaziel Puig is back in the middle of the fray. He's plenty fired up. He's got a lot to say to Arizona before he is finally restrained by Dodger teammates. Now before the at-bat, Montero telling Granke, you're going to get yours, and boy, did he ever. In all, six ejections result from L.A., Yaziel Puig, Mark McGuire, and Ronald Belisario, and from Arizona, Turner Ward, Kirk Gibson, and Ian Kennedy, just a surreal scene at Dodger Stadium on Tuesday night in the seventh inning. When things finally settle down and we get back to baseball, it is Skip Schumacher at the plate with Greinke at first base. As Schumacher sends it to the right side, Arizona cuts down Greinke at second base and a hard takeout slide on Gregorius who shakes his head, but no further animosities would come from this. Next batter for LA is Nick Punto as he sends this one into left field. Jason Kubel, a great diving catch, and Punto cannot believe it. Now let's go top eight. D-backs threatening, two on and one down. Willie Bloomquist, a tie-breaking ribbing single into left off Matt Guerrier. Arizona back on top three, two. Home half of the eighth now. The Dodgers threatening. They've got the bases loaded one away for Tim Fedorovich. Set Fedorovich with a fly ball to left field. Hey, that's pretty well hit. Going back to the wall, and it's off the wall. In comes Gonzalez. Ethier is behind him. Coming to the plate is Uribe. He beats the throw. A three-run bases clearing double for Tim Fedorovich. The biggest hit of his major league career. KLAC on the call. The Dodgers come away with an emotional 5-3 win on a wild night at Dodger Stadium 
as they snap their five-game skid at the hands of Arizona. Kenley Jansen recorded the save after officially being named the new Dodger closer prior to the game.